biased independent filmmakers, what can they do to make your life easier? Get it to you. Yeah, I think I thought so you don't have to chase them down. I mean, I had the same situation even with volunteers or whatever. I mean, if you ask, and most people don't read, if you haven't noticed, <laughs> they do not read their emails. So it's like, this is where, what we want, and this is where you need to send it. And then inevitably, they'd send it to Tom. And then Tom has to send it to the tech guy. I mean, it's like, it's, well, just yeah, read it, the email. And respond. I think, I think <laughs> once you've been accepted into a festival, contact the festival and do quickly whatever you can do. Because um, it, it got down to three films we almost pulled this year. We didn't have the film. I'm, I'm, going to gu I'm going to print the guide. If you don't give me and give me your film, then your film is not going to be in the festival. Yeah. And then they respond real quickly. But then it's last minute and it's very difficult. And then to... I dealt with the filmmakers a lot. So I, had, I thought I had 30, probably 30 filmmakers come in. I ended up with 15 more filmmakers that ended up coming in. If you think you're going to come, we need to be in contact with one another. And I, I think that's where it falls down sometimes. Another advice I would give to somebody wanting to submit films to a festival is look at the history of that particular festival, the films they've accepted. If your film is not going to fall into that genre or that category of that particular festival, don't waste your money and time submitting it. Right. Um, I, I, films. I, I, we don't yeah, we don't show really show. Films. So we did get quite a few, you know, I will say bad horror films. But, you know, that's not to say if I was a horror film festival that I may do that. But we had so many horror films submitted, we, that's not our genre. We don't play but we, horror And films. yet, having said that, last year we did show a couple. Yeah. They, because they were good. They were extended. They, they, they were sure. made well and we really enjoyed them. They were funny that's or true. whatever it happened to be, we did include them. Um, but Tom is correct. I mean, it's almost like I, I'm an artist, so I paint and recently uh, submitted my, my work for a jury thing. And I was told that you should look at whatever the juror does because what she does or he does is probably what they're going to like and accept into the you know, show. And I thought that was really good advice because that's their sensibilities. Well, our sensibilities for film are what we've shown in the past. And you can probably see a lot of that stuff. And, and we also feel that we're not being, um, to me, production value is so big in, in, a, in a film. Do, give it your best shot of putting your money into the film. Put it on the screen, you know? And I think that um, some of the submissions this year, the other thing that bothered me about the submissions that didn't make our festival, the, the two categories that we seem to get a lot more this year was, um, a lot of gratuitous violence and a lot of borderline pornography. And I felt that those two things immediately stopped me in my tracks. I can take a good sex scene or violence in the film if it's necessary and it has a purpose in place that the audience is going to overcome that. Because um, we had a couple films that had some violence in it but it was necessary and it made a point. This gratuitous violence or using the F word every other word, which we had so many submissions that way this year, I'm personally not going to show that. Again, I don't have a problem with certain language if it's used in, in a context that you can accept. And we don't and, want to be offensive to our audience. Right. So we're really cognizant of that. You know, what is it that would be offensive to us? We don't want to put it in front of somebody else. Right. And for instance, we had, the, there was just a few of them that I felt like um, some people would be offended by it. So I put really clearly R rated, you know, for language. It was, you know, always for language. Because um, some people are offended by that, and, and I want them to know that and be forewarned, because I don't want them to come out of a film and then tell me, if I had known, I would not have sat in that film. I, I would hate to hear that. Yeah.